What's up guys? Welcome to your second Android tutorial. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is again some boring stuff like installing software. And the software we're going to install is Eclipse. So go into Google, type in Eclipse or download Eclipse. I'm going to say Eclipse download. And it should be the first link from eclipse.org forward slash downloads. We're going to click on that. And basically what Eclipse is is an IDE which will make developing a lot easier for us. It's going to give us some error checking, some shortcuts, just basically some references so we won't have to remember exactly every line of code um, that we're going to use for the most part by memory. It's going to be a lot simpler for the most part and that's how we're going to integrate the SDK as well. So here we go. Um, there's a lot of choices for Eclipse that we can download what we want is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers and over here is your platform it should choose it automatically for you but just in case you can click Windows or a Mac OS and we're going to download the 32-bit um, even if you have a 64-bit we're just going to work with 32-bit for now so it doesn't you know whatever so we'll click that and here's your download links down here you can choose some other links that you may want to download from that might go a little bit quicker um, or you can just select this uh, this one that they're featuring for the most part. So just click that and it's a standard download. As you can see right here I already have it downloaded because it's almost 100 megabytes. I'm actually going to install it for you guys because uh, this computer doesn't have it um, set up for the most part. So there we go. We install it. I'm going to try and find it make sure I install it in the right place. Yeah, under my downloads right here. What I'm going to do is now move this whole folder into my hard drive or for you Windows users your main hard drive which is like your C drive. So just move it into that folder and then we're going to open it up by opening the Eclipse folder and clicking this icon which basically looks like a croquet ball or like I don't know a third graders painting or something. So open that up and that's going to start our Eclipse yeah we know it's from the internet we're gonna show it anyways or open it anyways because uh, you know we're trusting like that and it's gonna start up Eclipse and here's the workspace that we're gonna create now basically um, I'm using my buddy's computer which is Jake but uh, basically we're gonna set up a new workspace and we're also gonna we're gonna do this within our documents for the most part what we're going to call this workspace or we're going to create it by right clicking or clicking this new folder here and saying uh, the new Boston now this is where we're going to again create a workspace and what a workspace is is the way to organize all of our Java classes all our resources that we want to use and all that good stuff so we're going to call that the new Boston hit open and now that's where our our, uh, our documents are now we're just going to click OK and also for you guys wondering the Java JDK that we installed last time most likely Eclipse will still work um, even if you guys don't download that because it's going to have some sort of Java on your computer but you guys wanted to get the most recent one so we could uh, use it for like Google Maps and signing our project and getting it onto the marketplace which we'll get into later but now we have Eclipse set up um, we exited out of sorry I, went, I kinda went, skipped over that but there's a welcome screen as boring ugly and from the 1980s or something so we exited out of that welcome screen the X was up here somewhere um, so just click that and then you'll get this which is basically the layout of Eclipse and what we're gonna do is set up the ADT reference so what I want you guys to go to or where I want you guys to go now is in Google type in Android ADT hit enter and it'll be this first link from the developerandroid.com page forward slash SDK forward slash Eclipse ADT. Click that and uh, here's the developer page. It should be on this page. If not, but you guys are on, on the developer page, you guys can click right here where it says ADT plugin for Eclipse and scroll down to the point where it says installing the ADT plugin and downloading the AT, ADT plugin. So it gives us a link. What we're going to do is copy this link by Control C or um, you know Command C, whatever um, you guys are on Windows or Mac, and then we're going to copy that link. And what we're going to do now is open, go back into Eclipse, and under this 
uh, Windows tab for for if you guys are on Windows, it should be under the Windows tab, and right down here uh, there'll be a uh, or I'm sorry, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm on both the Windows and Mac. It's under the Help tab, and it says inst install new software. So we're gonna click that, and we're gonna now paste that link right here and hit Add. Now we can add a name to this, or we're gonna just add a name. So Android ADT. And again, you guys can paste the link right here. That's the location link. And hit OK. And it's basically going to get the developer tools for us that we're going to need for Android programming. So that might take a little bit. We're just going to click this, hit Next. And our computer will freeze and probably uh, crash. No, I'm just kidding. So there you go. Um, now we just hit next again. You guys should have four things within there as well. And we have to accept this license agreement um, for all of these as well. So just do that and read through those again because it's super entertaining, great stuff within these agreements. Just hilarious, the comedy in there. It's, oh man, it's such a great read. So if you guys want to read that, otherwise just hit accept and finish and it's going to install the software for us and then I'll catch up with you guys in the next tutorial where we'll you know do do some more fun installing software so but soon enough we'll get into the programming and the actual great stuff that we want to do but basically that's it for this tutorial I'll see you guys later peace